We have reported the city of Portland has tried several things to try and stop the shootings. You heard about some of it there. Here are some of the plans they've implemented. Earlier this year, the Portland Police Bureau started the Enhanced Community Safety Team. It's made up of about 20 officers who focus full time on shootings. Police have also gotten help from the FBI, and that partnership, called the Metro Safe Streets Task Force, gives PPB extra officers and overtime money, as well as access to federal investigative resources. Plus, an FBI agent now responds to every potential gang shooting, and they go after people suspected of being involved in more than one shooting. To identify those individuals, maybe they're gang members, maybe they're not, but that have been involved in shootings. And I'm not just talking one shooting, I'm talking two, three, four, five shootings. So when we talked to the FBI last week, that interview there, they told us they're having a hard time solving cases because frankly, and I don't think this will shock a lot of people, Many people don't trust law enforcement right now. In fact, we know the Portland Police Bureau is struggling to fill their openings, too. And in April, Portland City Commissioners decided not to turn to police, but instead to turn to park rangers, who, by the way, are not armed. The city opted to hire about two dozen of those park rangers to patrol the parks, and they also gave $4 million to community groups. Among those groups, the Immigrant Refugee Community Organization, the Native American Youth and Family Center, the Latino Network, a group called Going Home Too, and Portland Opportunities Industrialization Center. Each of them has gotten at least half a million dollars for programs that fight gun violence. Portland police were not given any money under that plan.